Hello everybody, teen sensation Billy Tucci here and welcome to the first episode of Unboxing Day with Billy Tucci on the Pop XP. So basically what I have here is 29 campaigns, Indiegogos and Kickstarters of which I have backed and yet to open this year or in the past few months. I'm a huge fan as everyone knows of crowdfunding of independent comics and we're going to start unboxing these books so let's give it a whirl booyah hey everyone welcome to pop xp and before the show starts make sure to click that subscribe button and click the bell to get notifications when we go live and we upload awesome new content and don't forget if you can make sure to share our stream on all your social media outlets we appreciate it and thanks for helping us grow the pop xp channel hey everybody billy tucci here and i'm uh getting ready to start this is episode one of unboxing day with billy tucci where i will be unboxing uh, a bunch of crowdfunded books, both Kickstarters and Indiegogos. Uh, this is the first one that just came in yesterday, and I know which one it is. A lot of the others that I have back there, and you saw the big pile of 29 campaigns so far that I've yet to open, um, is uh, I got this one, so let's, uh, let's not get a little secret. Got my little Coffin Comics cowbell, and uh, this one comes to you guys from Coffin Comics, baby. Very excited about this one. Uh, as you can see, so look at some of the things that happens when uh, when books get sent. Um, damage. Look at that damage from the post office, of which no no fault of what what it's own to uh, to the Coffin Comics crew. Of course, priority two day mail. The uh, Coffin Comics. One of the amazing things about them, and I still don't know how they do it, is that they do not charge anything for domestic shipping, and they send things priority two day mail. It's pretty incredible. Uh, these are their own special brand of of Gemini mailers, and uh, look how thick this bad boy is. So uh, let's open it up. I got my trusty Italian um, Italian uh, uh, military army knife from the Italian army from uh, circa World War II, given to me my, by by my pal Bo Smith. And of course, this is coming to you from the Blevins Media Center. And uh, let's give it a shot. So uh, my utility knife. Let's cut it open. And let's see what we got here. Let's close the knife. Safety always, everyone. Let's move that back here. All right. Coffin always provides an incredible amount of customer service. Um, you know, they really set the standard, I think, for customer service and what we all should, all of us, um, all, all of us who do Indiegogos and Kickstarters and crowdfunded books should aspire to. I am. I'm sworn since 94, actually 93, because Brian Polito was one of the very first. Well, he was the very first professional to uh, welcome me uh, and to to embrace me in comics when I was just trying to get out. Now, you're going to look at here. This is an insane, insane, insane amount of stretch goals uh, that come along. With, and, and again, these guys set the deal. The, this is the blue ribbon, the gold standard of what crowdfunders should all aspire to be. So we're going to get rid of our wonderful Coffin Comics mailer. And uh, let's look. Wow, look at this. So here's, uh, of course, this whole pack of stretch goals. I got my Hell Witch. Uh, you know, uh, let's, let's, uh, look at, oh, look at this. So it's, it's Hell Witch Sacrilegious number one. Uh, a beautiful, beautiful book. Inc look at this. What a Gorgeous Ed Bennis cover, Ed, who I'm a huge fan of, and I hope to get Ed to do a she cover soon. Uh, this is chapter three. It comes with a certificate of authenticity. I have to start doing this. I think we all should start doing these for our crowdfunded books, and I'm going to talk to Deborah about it, uh, that you get uh, the it, the book comes with uh, that. Uh, Hell Witch is a badass book. It's got this beautiful green um, uh, metallic uh, foil stamping on it. Let me put that down there. Got my light. Fix my light a little bit there. Uh, uh, these will get a lot more uh, professional as we go. And again, they they always have the the, the highest production standards. Uh, I like to take the tape off whenever I do that because I don't like to mess my books up before I put them in my before I read it. But look at this; it's got a beautiful glossy cover. 
Uh, signed by Brian Polito, the creator. Uh, that comes free if you he requests if you'd like it uh, um, signed or not. By uh, of course CC Dela Cruz, who is uh, an amazing colorist as well. Mike McLean, incredible writer. Brian's co-writer. Uh, so uh, look at this. I mean, it's just gorgeous, just gorgeous. Um, and look at the paper. It's got a very a great paper stock. Great. It's probably seventy pound. I don't think this is 70 or 80 pound interior stock paper and just stunning. This is a badass rock and roll story of this anti-hero. Um, if you want to call her that slash villain, but she's just doing her thing. And look at that. That's cool. <laughs> this is so great. Some of these things. Ooh, la la. This is not for children, by the way, but I don't care. I can't be sure. So uh, look at this. Get it on Donkey Kong. Beautiful book. Beautiful, beautiful comic. Thank you. And I always pledge for, for uh, I feel like I pledged for this just a few weeks ago. Uh, again, Brian Polito and everyone at Francisca, everyone, Brandy, everyone at the Coffin, uh, uh, Coffin Comics crew, they deliver. And they deliver on their, on, on their products in, in record time. It's almost as if he's publishing monthly, it seems. I know he's doing four campaigns a year, maybe five, with two brand new Lady Deaths campaigns. But... Uh, it's again the gold standard of of crowdfunding. So let's see. Here's our stretch goal pack. Oh, I can't wait to read this comic. Okay. So it's got another bag. Of course, a backing board. Stretch goals are bagged. The comic is safely bagged with the glossy side towards the comic. Everyone. Okay. You got a flat side. You have your 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 uh, sorry um, your matte side, and then you have your glossy side. Please, when you guys are. Uh, are doing your campaigns when, when you are shipping your comics, please. Uh, I hope I don't have to tell you this. Please put your, your, uh, what you would call it on your, uh, your comics on the glossy side. Again, this is the, the hell risk religious number one. Uh, this is just the, the standard edition again, chapter three, the same book. Oh, it's not. This is sort of like a, a blue, uh, you know, a pure line edition. Like we do. I love these as comic. Look at this art. Jeez. Ed Bennis. My God, you got Ed Bennis and Diego Bernard, both both two of the top guys in the industry. And just look at that. This is, again, look how gorgeous. Again, the, the paper, you're going to have to forgive me with my light. It's all my fault once I set it up. But just beautiful. Gorgeous. Look at the detail. And every page is like this. You're dealing with professionals at, 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 uh, oh, look at that. Look at that. Repeat. See, and the, here's all the little things you see, you find in comics, which is great. Repeat this panel. Uh, this, because again, you know, we are a service industry, I believe, especially when we're self publishing and crowdfunding to, uh, you got to get those books out. You got to get them done. I'm so excited. Today's the 26th, I believe, of February 2021. Our She Return of the Warrior. Uh, our Indiegogo ended in December. Our Kickstarter uh, began in January and just ended at the end of January. Uh, I'm happy to say that our comic, all of our stretch goals, our comics are all at the printers and the, and the, and, and, uh, at the printers and the manufacturers. So, uh, and we start fulfilling uh, in the next few weeks. Uh, get those books out. If you guys can do, uh, uh, you know, three, two, three, four campaigns a year, it'll only help build your brand. And, um, it's, it's, that's the way to go. If you could do it. I love the idea of the, the European model that a lot of people follow. Um, uh, like say Ethan Van Skyver does that with cyber frog that he actually, you know, he, you know, when you do these big books, uh, you know, beautiful high end, uh, one book a year, massive books. Uh, that's another model, preferably with Crusade Comics. But then again, Ethan with All Caps Comics is now publishing uh, Snowman, The Creed, uh, and Starblades so, uh, and Rainbow Brute. So he's expanding into becoming a major publisher himself. Coffin Comics does at least four new titles a year, and they deliver. And they deliver those four titles in a year. And again, just beautiful. I love this. I love without the word balloons. Um, I love seeing the art uh, by itself. And, and look at that. Gorgeous. I behave. Hello. So now let's get into the, uh, look at that. Oh, this is the hell. Is this the mini comic? So here's the, so what we have here is the Little Risque Premiere Edition. <laughs> look at that. 
Look at that. So it's a mini comic. And it's in color. <laughs> this. Look at this. Little Risque at number one. Uh, it's it's a whole new comic. It's a pinup book. I think it's a pinup book. Yeah. Ah. Uh, look, it's from panels and pages and covers. Uh, I, I think these are all covers. Look at this. Again, this is not for children. And uh, look at that. Heck yes. Well done, Brian Polito. Well done, Coffin Comics. Look at that. That's my boy. Look at that. This is just great. Just, just great. Gorgeous. Uh, oh, I like that, Brian. I like the little devil horns on the on the on the the, the skull, too. Again, the gold standard. Fantastic. Here's all the stretch goals we get, which they call bonus. Bonus, uh, they call them um uh, bonus, uh, it's just like, bo it's a bonus pack. So they don't just call them stretch goal rewards. They call it a bonus pack. And look at this. You get your poker chip, your hell witch poker chip. Let's put the, you know, let's, you get a big shake for that. Let's put my knife over here. Let's put the comics out and let's, I'm going to put the, I'm going to remove the bags real quick and the, the backing board. So right now I have two comics. Of which one is a mini. Okay. And then with your, your poker chips. Here's what I like. I love pins. You got a pin. Again, the pin even comes bagged. And uh, another reason why Brian does this and everyone at from Francisca Brandy, everyone at Coffin Comics does this, is because uh, it also, they, they're very conscious of the product that they're protecting. So they put these in here because these sort of, these little pin pin um, catches, they could rip up the other, um, your other uh, stretch goals, your books, things like that. And if you notice, if you saw before, they put it in like that. Same with one of the hardest things to, to actually ship is your pins. Again, these pins can dig into the, into the books, dig into your trading cards, all your other rewards or your bonus perks. And uh, like I said, William. So my son William likes to take all my pins because William's a big coffin comics fan. He's a big metal head. And uh, I, I got to get him a battle vest, William. That's what I'm going to get him. I think for his birthday. But gorgeous Hell Witch pin. Here's our second one approved by the Coffin Code Authority. That's cool. I might have to steal that, Brian, because <laughs> you were definitely not the comics code. But I love this. Love it. Uh Let's see. Let's go to our trading card. Look at that. A lot of trading card. Oh, I got the sticker too. Got the calendar. All right. So, hell, which uh, this is a uh, is this the business? Oh, it's a magnet. Far out. Nice. Let's just throw that. A lot of sticks in my art table. Let's put the magnet here. Boy, I got to move the camera up higher because of all these amazing things. Again, gorgeous uh, trading card. This by uh, uh, Paolo uh, Pantalina, one of the one of the premier artists. I've got to I got to meet Paolo at the last. Uh, San Diego Comic Con, and my wife loves his work. We got to get him to do a she cover as well. Uh, what a nice guy! Brian and Fran introduced us to them at San uh, into, to him at San Diego Comic Con. Gorgeous trading card. Another trading card. This is Memorial card number two. Again, Hellwitch. No holds barred. Rock and roll. No f's given. This is by uh, Richard Ortiz and Cece Dela Cruz. Another trading card. Look at this. Richie, Richie Ortiz. I grew up with a Richie Ortiz. Oh, this is by Sora. Sora Sung. Uh, Sora, who we love, one of our friends, uh, one of one of our one of our great family members of the Pop XP. Another beautiful card. Look at this. Again, top notch art. Top, top of the line. Here's another card. This is by Jose Veresi, uh, Jeremy Clark, and Senju Nivongan. I don't. Well, not they're not going to be able to to uh, to uh, to uh, say his name right. Again, another one. Look at this ecstasy card number three. Oh, behave! Yes, it's card number three. Ecstasy card number two. See, we're building up to card number one. This is by Ed Bennis, of course. XC card number one. I love how they have the build up. They have to go through three, two, one. Again, of course, by Ed Bennis and Ceci De and Cece Dela Cruz, of course. Oh, look at that. 234. This is the $230,000, 409, almost 231,000, uh, 200, yeah, closing on over $230,000 for, for Hellwitch. Uh, and it gave us this 
227 returning backers. Uh, and again, this is customer service. This is a testament to Coffin Comics uh, and, and their amazing, amazing customer service. And most importantly, their production values and the product and the entertainment they deliver. Uh, 59 new backers. So every campaign, they're getting even more backers. You wonder that. The first book you do, oh, everyone's all excited about it. You, 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 everyone orders it. And then you worry sometimes like a, like a second issue of a comic. Uh, the number two... Numbers go down. Not so with Hellwitch. He's even got uh, another 60 backers, and he's raised even more. But this is a beautiful metal card. Look at that. Actual metal. This thing could kill you. You could throw it. Oh, I just threw it. Oh, jeez. Okay, well, now I know I got a weapon, so I can keep this in my car. So the cops pull you over. You got to, you know, I'm like, what? Well, this is a trading card. Hellwitch trading card. But then you could use it. See that? That just happened. That just happened. I'm keeping that. Nice. Maiden Hell. <laughs> I love the little thing, Maiden Hell, too. Hell with Sacrilegious, number one. Blood. Look at this. I love these stickers. These stickers are going on my... I have a huge um, art file cabinet. Uh, it's just a file. It's it's a big armoire, like a metal steel armoire where all my stickers and magnets go on. A $13 bill uh, sworn to the black. Well done. This is great. I just love all these amazing things you get. And again, you know, someone buys a comic for say $25 on crowdfunding. You're not only getting, you, first of all, you're getting a double size issue. You're getting a, you're getting a premier graphic, graphic novel formatted comic. That's at least at minimum 48 pages, uh, for that 48 page limited comic, because these books are all limited. There's maybe 2000, there may be 500 copies of a, of a specific cover. Say something like, you know, the, the, the green foil, the green metallic foil cover. Um, but then again, it comes signed. So you can not only that, you get that book signed. Um, uh, so you get it for 25 bucks, let's just say. I'm not sure what my pledge level was, but for $25, you get the comic signed. Um, uh, you get a signed, you know, graphic novel. Look at this. Premier graphic novel, limited edition. Then you get a bonus comic. This is and with free shipping. Again, I don't know if it's 30 bucks, 40 bucks, whatever. Say for $40. So you get two limited edition comic books. Uh, and then you get all this amazing swag. Uh, you talk about a, a deal, hot damn, that's a damn deal for me. Look at this. You get a limited edition $13 bill. Hell Witch, Hell Witch is on $13 bill. Uh, Federal Reserve, Sworn Bank of Coffin. And look at the numbers. <laughs> 69, 69, 69, 0, 0, 6, 6, 6, 8. Again, they, they put their thought into everything. Everything is well done. All the little Easter eggs, all the cool stuff. Of course, uh, all of my books have my, my – uh, I love bookmarks. We've yet to do a bookmark. We've got to do one for the next one. I guess we'll do a bookmark for sure. Stretch goal for the She Omnibus Edition, which is launching at the end of March. Again, a 21, 20, a 2021 calendar, which is perfect. I'm going to put it right there next to my art table. Beautiful. Again, look at that beautiful Ed Banis art. Oh, no, it's Paolo's art. Look at that. Yeah, well, of course, look at Paolo's face. No one draws faces like Paolo. Stunning. You get looks like a mini print here. Oh, there's even more. Look at this. So you get you get a mini print. Okay. Free mini print. Comic size, which is great. Here's another lesson. Oh, behavior. Ed Bennis and CC again. Well done. The cool thing about doing these mini prints is that they're easily frameable. And the, when you pack them up, they pack up real nice right into the into the into the thing. So they can all fit into the so-called Gemini mailers or your coffin mailer. And of course, you get a pen. Which is great. I got to fill out my, my pistol license renewal, and it's got to be black because you know Brian Polito, it's definitely black. Yep, look at that. So I'm going to use this to fill out my pistol license, my hell, which actually match, matches my car. My car is white and black. So there you go. And of course, he always puts a thank you letter, always, always, always. We talk about someone who is so appreciative of his fans. He is the gold standard. Uh, well done, Brian Polito. So excited. Uh, and that's not all. He thanks everybody for the, for the book, for, 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 uh, being partners. He treats all of his, uh, all, all of the sworn, sworn nation, uh, we once were called fiends, um, like family. They really do. They love their fans. They, they appreciate their fans. You can tell, and it's a testament by all this amazing, amazing, uh, gifts they give you, bonuses they give you, all included in say, if you bought the lowest tier, you get all this stuff. 
So, uh, and he says, now, be on the lookout for Hell Witch, the Forsaken statue from Quarantine Studios, and the Hell Witch action figure from Executive Rap Replicas, and Loose Collector. Whoa, whoa, indeed. Well done. Tucci approves. This gets a big pop, and uh, we're going to be doing pops or not. This gets a total fucking pop. Boom. Sworn. Well done, Brian. Can't wait to read Hell Witch. Number one, I can't wait to browse through this. Well, this one I'm going to keep by my art table because I'm just a huge fan of Ed Bennis's work. And I love his lines. And I love the pencil. I love going from pencil to colors. I've been doing that since 1995 because it reminds me of the old animation when uh, before the inkers got to it. They called them ink and paint girls because it was pr predominantly women that did it. And they smoothed out the art. But it loses that certain sense of, of, of kinetic energy, that organic energy to the to a comic and organic storytelling and uh, just look at this look at how live this is from one of the masters great book I, I, well it looks great i can't wait to read it he always delivers and then look at these colors they look like cc de la cruz's colors it, it's just so rich so thank you all big pop sworn thank you and uh i'll see you guys tomorrow thanks a lot bye Hey everyone, thank you for joining us on Pop XP. If you haven't already, make sure to click that subscribe button and also click the bell for notifications when we go live and we upload some awesome new content. Also, don't forget to head on over to Twitter and follow us at the Pop XP and over on Instagram at the Pop XP. Thanks again, everyone, and we'll see you soon.